it's the next day. I'm out here. I'll watch some YouTube, eat a snack, update my notes, do my hair. I have all this Gatorade, so I might as well have one in the morning. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you. But, but first, I thought I would like update uh, last night and Cosmic Rewind. I think, honestly, doing it last night was the right choice. Um, I am dressed. I just don't have like a full shirt on. I just have a camisole. It was so. Uh, you know, I went in. I filmed some of the like queue and everything, which that queue is amazing. And our line went kind of fast. I don't know. It was probably in line for like 20, 25 minutes. I kind of wish it went slower, <laughs> um, because I think there's so much to see in there, and I found it really fascinating. And like, I've only seen the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie once. I haven't seen the second one at all. So I don't really have like a connection to it or anything. Um, but I did really enjoy all of that stuff. Um, and then the ride happened. And especially because I did bring Dramamine on this trip, but I, when I left the room, I wasn't planning on doing this. It's something I thought of while I was eating dinner because they do a drop at six if you're for when they have deluxe evening hours um and I was like oh well I might as well try so I wasn't thinking about it um honestly I don't know if it would have made a difference um yeah I did not do well at all um and uh when we did like the launch backwards I had closed my eyes and then I opened them and like it is really cool. Like, it was funny because I got off and I, I'll tell you more about what happened when I got off, but I called my dad and <laughs> I just started the call and say, say, it's a no for me, dog. And he was like, oh, was it a bad ride? And I was like, no, I think the ride is great. My dad has some of the same issues with rides that I do. Um, so I did tell him, I was like, I think you should try it. Obviously take a dream of me. And I was like, I don't think I will ever be up to trying again, which is really sad um, because... <laughs> I like the queue, um, and everything, and, like, part of me wants to try it with Dramamine, but it was such a negative effect. Like, it was, for me, honestly, it was worse than Everest, and I don't know if that's because, no, last time I did Everest, my dad did give me medication when we got off, so maybe that was it, maybe that's why Everest wasn't so bad in December, or maybe this one was worse because of the screens, although I feel like none of it was screen stuff for me because I do get motion sickness from some screens. It's part of why I didn't do Star Tours yesterday. I probably won't even do Remy stand. I was thinking about trying to stand by Remy today. I don't think I will because honestly, it does make me a little nauseous. So I just would rather not push it. Um, and everything. My stepmom, I think she will love it. And so if we come here, uh, to get, well, September, we'll be here together. Um, I will probably, if they want to do like a lightning lane or a virtual queue, they can join with me and that's fine. And then I will probably just like let my stepmom use my magic band because I'm sure she'll love it. Um, I mean, she's much more adventurous than my dad or I, but she really like, and she's the kind of person that like, I mean, I guess I like to be scared but she likes to push it. Like she hates elevators. Like she gets so nervous on a regular elevator, but loves power chair. Um, but I think it's that like safe way of like, not that an elevator isn't safe, it is. Um, but like a safe way of experiencing your fears, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, so I rode the ride. It is very cool. I love it. Um, I don't even know, like I was like so out of it. I think we got uh, like rule the world or whatever. I think that was our song. Um, but honestly, I like couldn't even pay attention. Um, I thought I was going to throw up most of the time and I was just like petrified and I was like, please end, please end, please end, please end. Um, especially cause you know, you're, I mean, in retrospect, I wouldn't have thrown up because I hadn't eaten since <laughs> six o'clock had been like almost five hours. So I'm sure I wouldn't have thrown up. I would have just like dry heaved. Um, that's great. But, um, it was the G-forces, which is what I was trying to find the whole time leading up to this trip. I was trying to find somebody who could talk about the Gs. 
and nobody seems to talk about this. Now, it is what impact, that is what bothers my dad and I on Everest, is the G-forces. And um, this, I told my dad, I said, I feel like on Everest, you really only feel it when you go backwards, but it's worse. But here, I think the forces are less, but more consistent throughout the ride. I don't know. I was like a little worried I wouldn't be able to get out of the car and I was like the first person in my car. Um, I was also in the back. Um, I was in the last vehicle. Um, I do know that there's like different ones. Like I think somebody said, like the even number ones are better, but I think that has to do with like the screens or something because nobody talks about the G-forces. And like, do other people not get sick from that? Like, I mean, I know people do because I know that that happens in like astronaut training and stuff, but um, I don't know. Anyways, and I was with a, a family and they had obviously ridden it before and everything and they were living their best lives. I'm so glad. I probably ruined their picture because <laughs> I probably look, I don't even know where the picture is. I don't know what I was doing. I probably look like I am dying. Um, so I got out. I was a little worried I would get out of the vehicle because the problem is, is, um, and I think it's, it's part nausea, part dizziness, part literally the way the G-forces affect you because I know that G-forces, like if experienced high enough and obviously everybody's different, you can pass out. Um, like that's something that like happens or like they train for and they look for in fighter pilots and stuff. So obviously that's a much higher level than this would be. But, um, but I got out and there was like a bench and I was able to sit down. So I immediately sat down. Um, and then like everybody left and it was funny because a cast member came over very nice. Thank you so much. Um, and asked if I was okay. And I said, I just needed a couple of minutes. And she said, that is fine. Um, and she said, just let me know if that changes. And I said, absolutely. Um, and I may have been also a little hot because this was the end of a long day. Even though I came back to the hotel, I rested, I went to the pool. It's still a long day in the sun. I drank like 80 or 90 ounces of water, but maybe that wasn't enough. Um, I don't know. So I probably hung out there for like five or 10 minutes. This is going on very long, I'm sorry. Um, and then I decided to bake my way out. I was still a little shaky. I used to, well, I've only fainted once in my life, okay? One time uh, in college. And, um, but I have blacked out. And by blackout, I don't mean blackout, like where, you don't remember things. I mean, literally like blacked out where like my eyes go black. I did that a lot in high school. Um, I have no idea if this is true or not, but um, a doctor, I think it might've been NP, but same difference, you know, uh, medical professional um, told me it was a salt deficiency. And um, I was on a relatively low salt diet just because I lived at home and my mom was on a low salt diet. Um, and once I went to college, a lot of that resolved itself because um, I'm sure all the food I ate was full of salt. Um, so he told me to just drink Gatorade, like try to drink Gatorade and um, keep like a salty snack on me. Um, so that's something, and I do notice it in my life now. It's one of the reasons I don't avoid salt in things. Like I add salt and I'm not afraid to add salt. I My blood pressure is fine, so. If anything, it's a little low. I'm sure all of these things are related. Um, so, you know, I have felt dizzy and lightheaded from that in the past. I also have gotten a sunstroke before, at least one time, but probably last July too. Um, or heat stroke last July. Um, but yes, so I've gotten like lightheaded and shaky before. And um, I definitely felt like that. So I was a little worried about making my way out. Um, so at that point it was like 10.50, I think. So I stopped in Creations. And actually the shirt I was looking for my dad, I had stopped in earlier and they had a two X and I had asked my dad and he was like, no, don't do it. I was like, okay, well, I'll be here tomorrow and I'll go to Magic Kingdom again later, so I'll check. Um, and so I was just going to Creations for myself and I looked and they had a 1X now. It was like a miracle. It was like, God was like, I'm sorry for putting you through Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. 
here's the shirt for your dad. <laughs> um, so I bought that and then I bought um, the Norway ears. I've been looking for those for over a year. So exciting. I almost bought a lawn fly, but I didn't. Um, I honestly feel like I'm probably not gonna buy a lot on this trip. I've bought five pairs of ears and I feel like that might be it. And then the shirt for my dad. Uh, I was still a little shaky, so I made my way out, but I wasn't feeling particularly nauseous anymore, just tired and shaky. Made my way out, um, got on the Skyliner, and had to call my dad back because the Skyliner made me nauseous, and I was looking for a distraction. Did that, made it here, and then I just crashed. I didn't wash my face, I didn't brush my teeth, and like I knew in my head like taking a shower or something would have been good for me, but I just could not bring myself to do it. So I just went right to bed. Um, and originally I was gonna wake up early today and maybe do Genie Plus, but honestly, I got a lot done at Epcot yesterday. And would I love to do Frozen? Yes, I mean, obviously I can stand in the standby line. I could do that and maybe I will. Um, but I think instead I, it was better for me to sleep in until my body wanted to wake up, which was like 8.30, which was earlier than I thought it would be. Um, and just relax, get around, and then head over. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I have my dinner reservations, and then my plan is to just come back here after that. And I think I might go to the pool a little bit later. Um and then watch Harmonious from my room. I think I'll be able to see fireworks. I'm guessing I should be able to um, tonight at nine. And then tomorrow's gonna be a long day uh, and I'll get up early tomorrow. I will get Genie Plus tomorrow. Uh, and then, you know what else is tomorrow? I mean, last day, which is so sad. <laughs> Four nights, it's great like to not have to take a ton of time off of work and obviously like less for hotel rooms and stuff, but it feels way too fast. I mean, I could be here for two weeks and probably feel that way. The only like sad, I mean, I do miss like my mom and stuff, but um, I miss my cat. That's like the only, <laughs> the only thing that makes me want to go home is my cat. You know, I can call my mother. <laughs> I can't call my cat. <laughs> well, I guess I could call my mom and she could try to get him to talk to me, but he would probably ignore me. Um, I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure I still have lipstick on my lips. Because <laughs> I didn't double cleanse last night. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, yes. But tomorrow night is hoop de doo And I am beyond excited. And then it's extended hours at Magic Kingdom, which I'm going to do. Um, and I'm so excited. I don't know if I'll be able to go to a park on, on Thursday. Like, in my head I am. But I don't know if it's really a wise idea. Um... So, and just hang out here. That's fine. Um, oh, so excited for hoop to do. But first, I gotta do all this crap because I talked a lot. All right, I'm fine. I tried to do some eyeliner and it did not work out well. But then, like, I felt like I couldn't take it off very well. So I, so I, I did what I could. Um, and. I'm like watching some John Boy media, which is funny because I'm not like a sports person and I definitely don't like baseball, but I like John Boy. So, um, and my right eye, my right contact keeps doing something funny. And I think there's like something under my eyelid, I don't, or under my contact, or I keep having stuff pull over here, which I know you're not supposed to take it out really because it can trigger more but like that's the only time I get any relief so whatever it's fine um it is <clears throat> almost 10 o'clock I feel like it's early but I don't really have anything to do and I went with some like space buns that are of course uneven because I can never do them because oh, I'm <laughs> because I'm wearing my Silly Moon shirt today. So I'm gonna represent uh, Sailor Moon. So I'm gonna put on my lipstick and I think then head out, I guess. I don't know, I got nothing else to do. I walked right out in this. 
towards Mexico because I do want to get the tostada. I think last time we had the taco vampiro, so that'll be good. I also think I want to hit up a Joffrey's cart and get one of the refreshers. I got one last time.